Today we are back out on a trout lake that I fished a few weeks ago. Uh, at that point in time, I didn't see anybody out here with holes. Came out here today and it looks like a few more people have found the spot or been out here at least. Uh, saw quite a few other holes, but nobody's out here right now. So we'll go ahead and see what we can get into. Hopefully we do as well and catch a bunch of uh, trout. I'm gonna go ahead and keep again today. Uh, there's also some decent sized crappie out here and some some big bass so hopefully we can get lucky and get into one of those also uh, if you guys could go ahead and drop a like and subscribe that would be much appreciated today we're doing something a little bit new or i guess i got a new rig that i'm using uh it is a 27 ultralight uh, tickle stick along with a 13 fishing black betty free fall carbon so pretty excited about this um I'm hoping for especially finicky fish that are real shy about line twist and whatnot. I'm hoping this really helps out and lands a lot more fish. So go ahead and drop a comment down below if you guys have any preference, I guess, whether you guys like spinning rods or inline reels more. I'd like to hear everybody's opinion on that. Got him. Let's see what a real big one. I assume this isn't a trout, but a oh, tiny little gill. Real light color too. First fish on the tickle stick. He did not hit it hard at all, but you could definitely see that rod tip bend. And I guess that's essentially what these tickle sticks are supposed to be good for. Uh, for crappie and with when they you know bite going up and you barely have any rod tip change um, I haven't caught any crappie on this rod yet, so that's to be determined, but Felt good with the first fish Oh, don't get tangled my other line no Nice little trout on your tackle micro leech. Is he out? He's a bit of a small one, so we'll go ahead and let him go. On the board. Just using that Euro Tackle Micro Leech. I like the pink one, especially in like dingier water. See if we can't get a bigger one. I got him. Feels like a little bit better one. I love this drag on this thing though, it's incredibly smooth. There we go. A little bit better one. Oh boy. We'll keep we'll keep this one. Again, find the tip with the Eurotechal micro leech. Love that thing. Uh, so we'll go ahead and keep this. We're able to keep five, so looks like a nice keeper. All right. That one came flying in. Oh, he's wrapped up everywhere. There he goes. That one was super aggressive. Most of the trout in this place are pretty much the same size so again probably about 11 11 and a half incher another good eater we're almost halfway to to a limit i did end up uh closing up all the windows in here it for whatever reason we have we uh, we do have really milky ice so um 
they probably don't get a whole lot of light penetration down there closing up the windows obviously lets a lot less of that sunlight down the hole so they it, you know it probably seems a little bit more natural but we'll go ahead and take care of this guy see if we can get some more got a one on it didn't even realize that it was there we moved to a new spot nice little trout again Hopefully didn't get it too deep. We're keeping anyway, so I guess we're not too worried about it. But a bit when I was trying to organize some of my stuff. There are things everywhere. Nice little keeper. Oh, got it right in the mouth again. So another well, that one might be a little bit bigger, might be a, a 12, but looks nice. All right, almost got a limit, and then we'll go ahead and see if we can't chase into some of those big crappie and uh, bass. Get them. Too. See if you can't get this, this one bite. Be the last two I can keep. That one looks like a lot bigger, though. Yeah, he feels about the same. Oh no, he's not. Oh my! Oh my! Look at that. That is a nice one. That's the one that hit my. Flutter spoon. That is a trout double. Those have been the normal 11s, and then we have this guy. An absolute behemoth. Uh, I guess, at least compared to the rest of them. That's probably a 13, 14 incher. Well, I guess that's our limit for now. So now we'll go ahead and try and uh, go after some, some crappie, see if we can't find those, and maybe some bass. I don't think it's a real big one. What is it? Oh, no, it's out. Perfect. We're not allowed to keep any more, so. I'm okay with him getting off right at the hole. It looked a little bit bigger. I thought that'd be a bass, but obviously not the case. That's a big one. What is that? Oh, God, he smoked it. Is that a bass? Please be a bass. Oh my. If it's a trout, it might be an absolute monster. I think it's a trout. It is a trout. Oh my. Oh 
Oh no, it's a bass. It's a bass. Well, that's what we were after. Not a big one by any stretch, but nice one. And boy, did he eat that thing. All those tiny little troubles I'm not going in there after that. Very nice. Let him go. Uh, 13, 14 incher. That's pretty healthy. I have to catch a bigger one. Looks like we're in a little bit better spot for what we're shooting for. Just got stopped by DNR out here. I don't know how I get so lucky, but almost every weekend I'm out ice fishing. Somehow they find me. Um, super nice guy though. And just out here doing his job, making sure that nobody's breaking any laws, which I can appreciate. Uh, I would hope that, you know, that they're protecting our waters and whatnot. I've never had a bad interaction with DNR. So, as long as you're respectful of them, usually they don't have any problem, you know, just have a couple questions. Sometimes they actually like to talk quite a bit about fishing and whatnot, but pretty cool dude. Ended up with our limit today. Uh, it's been pretty slow for a little while, so I'm probably gonna be done filming unless I end up with something else that's pretty nice. Uh, till the next one, thanks, bye.